Believe it or not, World War I led to the invention of disposable sanitary napkins. American nurses serving in France discovered that the bandages they used for the troops could double as very absorbent menstrual pads. This led the bandage company to introduce disposable sanitary napkins in 1921. Today's disposable sanitary pads are made of layers of cellulose combined with superabsorbent polymer powder. Polymer is a fluid absorbing chemical derived from either petroleum or wheat. Cellulose is the fiber that makes up the cell wall of trees and plants. It also retains fluid. Pulp and paper companies grind and moisten it to form a product called pulp. Producing sanitary napkins begins with half meter wide rolls of cellulose pulp. The rolls feed one long machine that does everything. First, knives spinning at 3000 RPM shred the pulp into a fine fluff. Then the machine sprinkles that fluff with polymer powder. The polymered fluff then travels through what's called the doser, a device that measures out the required amount of fluff per pad layer. The machine then suctions each dose into a closed chamber where an air current blows it into a pad-shaped mold. Then another air current blows it out of the mold onto a wheel that transfers it to a conveyor belt. The machine simultaneously makes a second pad layer. This one is smaller, rectangular, and at least double the density of the first layer, meaning it has more cellulose compressed into a smaller size. The compression roller also embosses a pattern that will disperse the menstrual flow, helping absorption. This demonstration shows the critical absorption role the polymer powder plays. It can retain up to 40 times its volume. As the polymer soaks up the liquid, it transforms from powder to gel. Different types of polymers have different reaction speeds. This type absorbs at average speed. This will be a two-layer pad. The number of layers and their weight depends on the degree of menstrual flow a pad is designed to absorb. Now the machine's conveyor belts merge, bringing the two layers together. Now the machine sandwiches the layers between plastic sheets. The top one is perforated to allow fluid to pass to the absorbent layers underneath. The bottom one acts as a leak-proof barrier. A roller stamps the contour of the pad, sealing the absorbent layers inside. Now the machine applies glue to a paper strip and to a pair of small paper rectangles. It slaps the strip on the back of the pad and the rectangles on the side flaps, called the wings. To secure the pad to underwear, you remove the paper to expose the adhesive. The pads are still connected to each other. A cutting die excises each one. Abrasive foam on either side of the die grips, then pulls away the material surrounding the pads. A vacuum then sucks this excess away. Now the pads move onto the packaging line. The equipment first folds over the adhesive wings, then folds each pad in three. The folded pads now go into plastic wrap. A hot iron-like device called an embossing press seals the plastic around each pad. Then a knife cuts in between the pads, separating them into individual pouches. Next, two belts sandwich the pouches and carry them down to the stacker where an automated counter lines them up for packaging. As a vacuum opens the bag, a mechanical arm inserts the pads. The equipment then seals the bag shut. Everything you've seen happens at an impressive pace. From start to finish, it takes just 40 seconds to make and package a sanitary napkin.